Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. Got a couple of things, looks like. It's all taken apart. Definitely. Should this go over the roof? down up there? I think so, yes. It rained a lot last night. It was pouring. Sun's out today though. Bicycle tires. Ooh. Those are some good boots. It's hardly any. Computer. I think it is. Or something. Oh, it looks like an LED flashlight. Don't know how to turn it on. What are you? You are a computer thing-ish, maybe. <laughs> I'm having one of those mornings where everything just gets tangled and I get frustrated. <laughs> I guess that's an e-machine? Yeah, e-machines. Windows XP, yeah, okay. So you're going in the back. <clears throat> you're old. Those boots are my size. That's right. And that is an old school wagon. Hmm. Don't need any coaxial. Oh, wagon. That is cool. All right. That one's getting uh, put up for sale. That's for sure. That is not ready for the scrapyard. No way. I remember riding these as a kid? Is this would actually steer? Some metal sticking out. I'll bet that's stainless. Maybe. Or aluminum. It's light, so I think it's aluminum. I do have quite the aluminum board at my house. Even though I do space off and not pay attention and chuck straight up clean aluminum into the shred pile. Oh well. Uh-oh. Who woke the dogs up? Yep, that's aluminum. There's no getting around that. Every time I stop... Oh, it's not aluminum. Oh, there's a... Looks like there's a steel bar in there. That's what's holding it. Yeah. It's not holding it there, but then you get closer, it does stick. So there's a steel bar in there. Every time I stop, 
these mosquitoes come from nowhere. Uh-oh, here comes the G-Man. Uh-oh. We're gonna get out of here. Let's check him out. Watch him do his thing. That's recycled, dude. This is a car repair guy here. What is this thing? Hello? <laughs> Tank of some sort. Hmm. Let's check it. Oh yeah. Brake shoes. All right, I need to do some arranging here. This guy. I like it. This might be keep. There's nothing wrong with this at all. because it rained so much last night. Yeah, that's how much it rained last night. See right through it. Uh. All right, we're gonna break the concrete with it. Hmm. Oh, good, nice, nice hand. Leave it on its side for right now. Right. You having to play magical gloves again with those wet gloves. Oh, there's no way this is brass again. No, it's okay. I see the corrosion. Nope, it's steel. Brass, I mean copper. Those mosquitoes want to eat her. Oh, that's just something like rope. Hey. All right. Oh, wait a minute. This thing. This thing's heavier than it looks. All right, truck's full. Hmm, what might to this be? Empty, that's what it might be. Yeah, 
metal and leather. Probably wasn't a bad chair. Definitely been sat in a few times. Uh-oh, woke the dogs up. I am running to my house because I forgot to put my suspenders on this morning. And I am not about to run around all day without my suspenders and pulling up my pants. And no, I'm not a big fan of belts. For one, have you, have you ever tried putting a belt on an upside down pyramid? Yeah. That's better. Oh yeah. So I probably should take this and the aluminum off while I'm here and whatever else. I don't know, should I just unload the whole truck here and then go back out? Oh, hey, yeah. You remember that uh, Papa John's sign I found in the dumpster? Well, it was pretty junky. Um, so, guess what I did? Yeah. I got a little cheesy on us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, Paul. This is the first time it's been on the truck. We'll see how it works. How lame is that? Yeah, that's pretty lame. Or should I have it go front and back? Or like, oh. Come on. Okay, let's try to go front to back. About halfway, huh? Does that work? If you're a neighbor? Hmm. I think that A looks a little low. Oh. Yeah, that'll work for now. So I decided I'm just gonna load up the other steel I have here at the house, just take it to the scrap here. Might as well. Yeah. See this knife? Yeah, I thought it was working well until. <laughs> yeah. Junk. Carhartt, barely used, waterproof, steel toed, and size 13, my size. Man, that's good stuff right there. And yes, yeah, steel toed are good. Hmm. That's good. The scrapyard recycles their cans. <laughs> All right. So more important than getting my seven dollars is an empty truck. Forty-one hundred pounds. Forty-one twenty. Something like that. All right. Got some dry gloves on now. Um, where do I start? <laughs> so I was working on my bowling knot because I was sick of, of untying stuff that's difficult to untie. So I haven't done one um, today, but uh, I was working on it yesterday. So yeah, the bowling knot and my half hitches way easier than a, just a knot, a glob knot. Hey, I just made up a term. Cheesy is that scrap pound. <laughs> yeah, that might not be permanent. I don't know, maybe I'll put the logo on the top where that crest is. Put my crest on the crest. Hey. What's going on here? Whoa, hey. Glad my hand was there. That would have bonked me. What? 
course I park right next to the puddle. Man, kind of a grumpy morning. I am. Things that normally don't irritate me are irritating me. was in here. Just metal cans. Keeping the brass. Are those for bicycles? I think they are. I'll keep those. Should I? No, I just want to throw them out later. Scrap yards have like a a bin where small stuff goes. Oh, I didn't want to get that crease all over me. Um, no. Fully paying attention here. And they have a you know a little bin for all the small stuff. This yard doesn't. They just said sling it. And this is why I don't have those big wood sides because you wouldn't be able to work out of the side of the truck. So I don't think I'll ever have that. With my operation anyway. Now this guy does have that steel bar in here which I'm just dumping the whole thing because I know me, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna separate it. It'll just pile up and then become a stress pile later. This big puddle, I think is like a tire car wash. So I think 180 pounds. Thirty nine sixty. Yeah, so one sixty. Something like that. Oh. Price totally dropped. Wow. Sixty five dollars a net ton. Zoinks. That's the lowest I've ever seen it. Yeah. So I got eight dollars and forty five cents. I'm still happy about. But yeah, that's the lowest I've ever seen the steel prices. But you know what that tells me? That scrap, the average traditional scrapper is not going to be doing uh, steel. So I'll be able to get all the steel I want. Yeah, I like steel. I do. It's simple. It has some stuff on it. You don't need to clean it up. I, don't know, I just like simple these days. Yeah. Alright, let's go find some more stuff. I just wanted to throw away something in that trash can and saw a piece of metal. Awesome! Yeah. Hey! It's not there. That's good. Wait a minute. This guy looked really clean. right now else I'll forget I have an idea Let's see if this is a bad one or not
Hmm. A wheelbarrow. <laughs> Flat tire. He's definitely seen better days. And a spider web. Boink. Hey, don't go anywhere. Oh, yes. I'll take it. Appreciate it. Wow, copper. This is golden. Might have one short piece of Most excellent. Appreciate you. Have a good day. Thank you. Sure. All right. Hold on, sir. See if I get a piece here. Okay. I'll grab it. Oh, you're doing some work in the house, huh? All right. Good stuff. All right, have a good day. You too, man. Wow. Quite the treat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you too. guy just sent me a text saying that he tagged something up here for me. Um, just not exactly sure where it is. He didn't say what it was. He said he, he tagged it um, and has my name on it. <laughs> All right, we'll see if we can find it. I guess I don't need my blinkers on if the uh, yeah, these are dry now. If I'm in a parking spot. <laughs> Scrap metal. My man. Some decent amount of steel right there. Yeah, I was kind of bummed seeing that $65 in that ton. $65? So half a 65 is. 32.5 so it's 3.25 cents per pound that's how much it is per pound 3.25 cents per pound let's go over it better <laughs> can we get the other one in there probably not wow Sweet. Is this a shield? It is a shield. <laughs> I've never seen one episode of Game of Thrones, but I have a feeling this had something to do with the inspiration of Game of Thrones. And it can work. Load it up. Remember these old TV trays? Man, I do, definitely. That's actually pretty artsy. Oh, I don't know if I wanna toss you. I say toss it, recycle it. Oh, this stuff. Chains? 
Those are tire chains. Actual tire chains. Oh. Wish I should I hook these things up. Instead of having rope. <laughs> you need to quit messing around, Paul. Load up that scrap. Got the text for the G Man. Say it's scrap. Man, they loaded. Look at that. That's a half of a railroad tie, it looks like. It's aluminum, huh? That's some happy melt steel right there. Short steel, whatever you want to call it. Wow. I'll take the whole thing. Now, I got so many milk crates now. I gotta stop grabbing it. Now that's a really old milk crate. Prairie Farms. What is that? Is that just a, a seat? Steal for you. All right, what else we got going on here? He's the recycle dude, so this is empty. Carpet. That is awesome. They separated the steel. Thanks, folks. You're awesome. Uh-oh. They postponed the, um, the test from yesterday because yesterday's weather was bad. And they didn't want people thinking that it was going to be a, an actual tornado. So, so today's Wednesday at 10 a.m. Yeah. Hmm. Soggy. Ugh. Wet and soggy. Yukafa. How bad does that look? <laughs> what did I just roll up on? Hmm. Well, hello, puppy. How are you? That's good. through first. First start grabbing stuff.
brass. Nope. Steel. Do a walk through. Got a broken tank. Bunch of garbage in the recycle bin. Oh, power supply. Beefy one too. sticker on this house. This looks like a clean out of some sort. What is this? Semi-gloss paint. Uh, it's full too. Clip a couple cords and I'll be good. See the butterfly? Oh. Getting some cords. Homeowner just pulled up. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, thanks. How have you been? Yeah, good, man. I just gotta see if you need any help. Yeah. Like it. Yeah, doing just fine. Good. Yeah. Good. I was just thinking, with that load being sixty-five dollars a net ton, last summer was one hundred and thirty dollars a net ton. So I would have gotten sixteen dollars instead of eight because it was double. Yeah. So I guess the garbage man, they're starting to pick up tube TVs here and handling tube TVs with a special route. That's what I heard anyway. I've not talked to the garbage man about it. That's what I heard. What's up? My two favorite gooses. <laughs> My two favorite nooses. I see an old Magna bike. Uh-oh, er, endo. Uh, er. Where are you going? This side or this side? You know what? I'm going to put that copper away first. Before you get all mixed up. Oh, you already are mixed up. The bottom came out. Okay. Nerma. Nerma. Man, this weighs a ton. <sighs> yeah, we'll do the bungee.
eater. What else is in here? A bin. Yep. I grab one penny at a time. Feels like steel. It's not ripping either. <laughs> nope. Yeah, it's heavy. had some issues. It has a band-aid on it. <laughs> Literally a band-aid. <laughs> That's funny stuff. You know what? This one's mostly metal. I'm gonna grab it. Yeah. Up chair. Definitely steel. Heavy steel. It's <laughs> tripped over a stick. One piece. Whoa, dude. It's definitely a pinch of matic. <laughs> All right. People are definitely getting rid of these satellite dishes. Crutches. That is metal. It sure is. Yes, please. You know what? I was just getting ready to buy a whole bottle of this. And look what I found. Windshield washer and de-icer. I need some. Literally, right now, I have none in my truck. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Today is e-waste day. Yep. Bing, bing. Wait a minute. I thought those were auto parts. Chair looks nice. Did it get rained on last night? Hmm. Yep. Ugh. Man. Yeah. It's kind of gaudy, but. Final. Scarp and Perlet Mern! I didn't have time to turn my camera on. I was driving and two ladies were coming out with this in hand, this whatever it is. And uh, so I pull over all quick and didn't have my camera on and just put it right in the truck. Oops. 
All right, so where's the lawnmower gonna go? <laughs> this is crazy. The spreader. Plastic wheels, that's a lot of, I'm gonna leave that. Start. What do you think? Is that the button? <laughs> Where is the button? It's a Troy belt full of gas. Over though. Oh boy. This might not be so fun. <laughs> hmm. A little like a bad lawnmower. <clears throat> Bend the knees, Paul. Okay, halfway there. Halfway there. So what do you think? Get underneath it, plunk it on top. That's what I'm thinking. It's not stuck. That didn't turn out so well. I don't want it to be upside down. I really don't. <clears throat> it's so tangled up now. Is Francisco the owner? Management. I think it's twelve pounds. Four thousand six hundred. Yeah. Oh, I remember this place in winter. We were slipping and sliding everywhere. Yes, right where that car is. All right, I guess there's more scrap here. Um, it's just more of a process to unload it. So. Whoa. Wow, they're dismantling this stuff.
Okay, I think I'm done here. Can keep that heavy metal. Aluminum. Copper. Batteries. Yeah. benefits of having a little truck all right and I see 4040 okay whoa it got warm out here it's almost laundry day I shouldn't say almost I have almost no more laundry because I haven't done it so I have a dark shirt on it's too hot for a dark shirt that's for sure I've not seen you in forever. Uh, so what's going on with you? <laughs> yeah. I was in Las Vegas for six weeks taking care of my mom. Yeah, she's a lot better. She's back home. Yeah, yeah. She went from being on life support for two weeks to a miraculous change and. Yeah, so she's back home. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. All right. All right. Cool. So it prices up here. I like that because it was a little bit less than this. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. See you later. So the price is up to four cents a pound here because it was at 3.8. So got $22.40. And guess what else? Coffee. Oh, did I see how much it was? 560 pounds. Today's officially theirs. Wow, okay. Right? I, wasn't, right. I wasn't allowed to say much before okay. that, you know? I don't know if, if I caught any of that on camera, but there's a new owner. Yeah, new owner named Michael. I just talked to him for 15 minutes. And uh, yeah, good stuff. Super good stuff. Okay, so four cents a pound. 560, um, 560 pounds for $22.40, which bad. I'm excited about that. Yeah, especially seeing the other place drop their price to 3.25 cents per pound. Um, so, yeah, so thanks God for this time. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the warmth. It's summertime, God. You know, during the middle of the winter, I was just <laughs> wanting it to be summertime. So thank you, God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Also, I just mentioned it a while ago, new owner of B&O Scrapyard in Sycamore, Michael. That's right. So, spent some time talking with him and his uh, number two guy, I guess. And, uh, yeah. Oh, Scrapper Coffee. Ping, ping, ping. What he's got. My shot's been off all day, but I can still dribble. Let's see what you got. Come on, let's see. I want to see an air ball, okay. 
Sarà Shotgun o Kobe?